Chapter 552 In these wealthy and powerful families, the girls would often get engaged when they were 20 years old. Moreover, most of them would get married as soon as they graduated from college at the age of 22 or 23 years old. Therefore, Fury was hoping for Lord Adair to mention this matter directly to Faria. He was also hoping that Lord Adair would directly ask Faria to accept the marriage proposal. Most of the girls in these wealthy and powerful families were all aware of these family arrangements for marriage. As long as the elders in the family made the arrangements, the younger generation would naturally obey them. Lord Adair did not expect Fury to continue persisting even though he had already declined the marriage proposal directly. Therefore, he could only chuckle and wave his hand as he said, To be honest, Faria is still very young, and I do not wish for her to be married yet. After all, her elder brother is not even married yet. At this time, Fury blurted out, Boys can wait to get married even when they are older, but girls cannot do that. The latest age for them to get married is when they are at the age of 24 or 25 years old. If a girl waits until she is 30 years old to get married, that would be greatly discounting her own value too. Lord Adair smiled faintly before he said, For someone who sincerely likes Faria, it would not matter to them if she is 24 or 25 years old when they get married. Even if she is 30, 40, or 50 years old, Faria will still be happily married. However, if someone does not truly love her, there would be a huge difference for them if they got married when she was 25 or 26. Therefore, I only wish for my granddaughter to be happily married. Edward hurriedly spoke up at this time. Grandpa Dare, if you are willing to let me marry Faria, I promise you that I will definitely love her and treat her well for the rest of my life. Lord Adair nodded before he said, Of course I believe that you will treat her well. However, everything depends on Faria and I will not decide on her behalf. Fury felt a little upset. He had already said so much and his son had even promised to love and take good care of his granddaughter, yet, he was still rejecting them. What did he mean by that? Was he looking down on the whale family? Fury was silent for a moment before he asked, Uncle Adair, can I ask you a question? Since you keep turning down my request, is it because you have a better candidate in mind to become the son-in-law of the Adair family instead? When Lord Adair saw that the other party was still persistent, he did not want to beat around the bush any longer. He wanted the other party to give up. Therefore, Lord Adair nodded before he replied, Yes. I will not hide it any longer. I do have a strong candidate in mind. After that, he added, Faria also has a candidate in her heart, and both of us feel the same way about the same person. Edward was extremely disappointed when he heard Lord Adair's words. He had finally met a woman who made his heart skip a beat. However, he never expected that her family would reject him, look down on him, and also reveal that she already had a person that she loved. Fury was also very shocked and could not hide the anger that he was feeling toward Lord Adair at this time. Damn it! Did this terrible old man really have such high expectations that he even looked down on the whale family? This was unbelievable. As he thought about it, Fury frowned before he asked, Uncle Adair, since this person can make you turn down the whale family, he must be from a very wealthy and prestigious family in Westcliff. Am I right? Lord Adair shook his head before he said, No, that young man is just an ordinary man. He is not from any wealthy or prestigious family at all. In fact, if I remember correctly, he was an orphan who grew up in an orphanage ever since he was eight years old. Fury became even angrier when he heard Lord Adair's words, and he blurted out immediately, How could an orphan who has no parents at all possibly be better than Edward? Uncle Adair, what do you see in him? Lord Adair laughed before he said, Sometimes, people cannot be compared merely in terms of wealth and their family background. Some people are naturally more capable and talented compared to others. Fury frowned before he asked, Uncle Adair, do you mean to say that Edward is not capable? Of course not. Lord Adair smiled as he continued speaking. I meant to say that everyone always has their own strengths and weaknesses. 
For instance, Edward could be very good in every aspect, but he might not be able to play basketball. However, another person might not be good at anything at all, but he could be very good at basketball. If a girl is attracted to a guy because of his basketball skills, no one could say that Edward was not good in the first place. In truth, Edward was not weaker than the other party, but he only lost simply because the girl was attracted to a guy who could play basketball. At this time, Lord Adair's inner thoughts were, damn it, Fury. Why do you have so much nonsense to say? I have already said so much, but you still refuse to retreat. Instead, you continue to argue and try to justify your position in this matter. Do you really want me to tell you face to face that your son is nothing but shit in my eyes? Will you finally be satisfied then?